I'm the Band Director at North Fort Myers High School. On stage now is the All County High School Band, and it is my pleasure to introduce our phenomenal guest clinician for tonight. Professor Troy Jones is the Director of Athletic Band, Symphonic Band, and Percussion at FGCU. Before his time at FGC, he spent many years in the public schools here teaching middle school and high schools. You can read his list of achievements and accolades in the program, but we are thrilled to have him tonight here with us. He is a terrific educator, one that teachers and students both actively seek out because of his wealth of knowledge, his fantastic choice of literature that you're going to hear on stage tonight, and his extreme kindness. Please help me welcome to the stage Professor Jones from the High School All County Day. Nishimura, and she is really a hot ticket right now 
Coming out of, out of Japan, she is a Japanese composer, but she actually got some, a lot of her education here in the state of Florida, so there is a topic. <coughs> she studied at the University of Miami under the direction and under the tutelage of one of our great, uh, wonderful composers of wind band music, Mr. Alfred Reed. And from there, she went to other places and then ended right back in Japan. And from there, she has just been a force. It's just really quite beautiful. This piece called Northern Lights is just a sample of what she does. But she, in her own admission, she says, I've never been to see the Northern Lights, but I, I you know, social media is amazing. You can see all kinds of things. So, you know, she probably saw it on YouTube. She said, I just really wish it, it's like I wanted to just to get the impression of what it would like to be there, actually witnessing this incredible phenomenon in the sky. And so she related the waves of light with the waves of sound in which she's able to construct this music. <coughs> and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's her way of trying to depict that beautiful wave of light, the way music would probably reflect it. So this is Northern Lights by Yukiko Nishimura. <coughs>
next selection, I'm so pretty, it was just a wonderful piece. The next selection, just a little bit about this, it's called With Heart and Voice, and David Gillingham actually visited a school called Apple Valley High School, uh, and when he walked through the door, they were wanting him to do a commission, but he wasn't sure what to do. Uh, whenever you're asked to write a commission, which commission something or to write music for someone, you obviously need some information. So he always would visit these places where he was asked to commission a work from. And when he walked through the door, he saw such a vibrant and comprehensive and wonderful music program, he was inspired to go deeper. Uh, at this particular school, they had a lot of things for students to, to avail themselves in music. I mean, a variety of things from, of course, band, choir, orchestra, but they also have contemporary things such as uh, rock band and uh, composing and all these other things. He was just really excited about that. So he visited their, their band director and talked a little bit more in depth about this, and they discussed using the alma mater uh, as a source for the, for the melodic content, content of, the, of, the, of, of, of this music. And, uh, with Heart and Voice is actually something from one of the hymns that he chose that jumped out at him because he's thinking with heart and voice of what this school has been able to do for these students. Uh, this pure heart and they vocalize it all the time. So he said, I think that's, a, I think that's the way to go. Um, so from that, the brilliance of David, of David Gillingham is how he's able to utilize these ideas and expand them in so many different ways in the literature. And you'll hear that in this piece. So I was very, very impressed with this group to be able to handle such literature. It's a really wonderfully constructed piece that you will hear that motive of with heart and voice. It's also a very popular hymn. Uh, it's of Spanish influence. Uh, it's in a lot of hymnals and several different churches and things around the country. And you may even be familiar with it when you hear it. Uh, and I've also understood quite vividly that this is also Ohio State's alma mater, so I, I will not forget. <laughs> so, so we hope you enjoy David Gillingham's with heart and voice.
people of all of Lee County, we want to take a second and thank Dr. Uh, oh, sorry, Professor Trump Jones for being with us tonight. Please give him another round of applause. Thank you. Very much.
Thank you.